Against the disease of writing, one must take special precautions, since it is a dangerous and contagious disease. The key to wisdom is this, constant and frequent questioning, for by doubting we are led to question and by questioning we arrive at the truth. Love is incapable of being concealed. A word, a look, nay, silence, speaks it. Tis a thousand times more easy to renounce the world than love. I had wished to find in philosophy and religion a remedy for my disgrace. I searched out an asylum to secure me from love, duty, reason and decency, which upon other occasions have some power over me, or here useless. The gospel is a language I do not understand when it opposes my passion, but when love has once been sincere how difficult it is to determine to love no more. Tis a thousand times more easy to renounce the world than love. I hate this deceitful, faithless world, I think no more of it. The beginning of wisdom is found in doubting. By doubting we come to the question, and by seeking we may come upon the truth. No man's real worth is measured by his property or power. Fortune belongs to one category of things and virtue to another. And no woman should think herself any the less for sale if she prefers a rich man to a poor one in marriage and wants what she would get in a husband more than the husband himself. Reward such greed with cash and not devotion, for she is after property alone and is prepared to prostitute herself to an even richer man given the chance. We do many things carelessly or unwillingly, but nothing studiously unless we are willing and apply ourselves. As a city that leath open and is not compassed with walls, so is a man that cannot restrain his spirit in speech. You are called a monastic, but think what that word means. If you are truly alone, then what are you doing among the crowd of men? We commonly die to the affections of those we see no more, and they to ours, absence is the tomb of love. Jealousy can easily believe the most terrible things. The heart of man is a labyrinth whose windings are very difficult to discover. Heloise to Abelard.
Love Christ, and despise yourself for his sake. He will possess your heart and be the sole object of your sighs and tears. Seek for no comfort but in him.